uh, we are going to discuss a program uh, using array to accept marks of uh, 10 subjects or 10 students and display the marks on screen. So uh, I have already included two header files that is stdio.h and conio.h. You are already familiar with it. And uh, this is your int main. Lock inside the main function, body of the main function. Here I have declared an integer array. This is how you can declare an integer array. Here int is the data type. Marks is the name of the variable. And in square bracket, you can write the number of elements you want to create. So, uh, by writing this command, what will happen? It will preserve space for 10 elements of integer type. So, how much memory will be required? As you are using integer, so 10 elements multiplied by 2, that is 20 bytes will be required. Okay. So you can uh, change it, you can have, say, if you want 15, you can declare it as 15, so uh, something like this. What will happen, it will, uh, you can access the individual element with uh, its subscript, like marks 0, or you can write marks 1, or marks 2 marks 3 up to what one last value will be if it is 10 then last 9 why marks 9 so as we have started with 0 it will be size minus 1 what is the size size here is 10 10 minus 1 that is 9 so total of 10 elements is there as we are as we are starting with uh, 0 so it will be size last element will be stored at size minus 1 okay now what we want to do we want to accept these marks from user so we have displayed a message printf and enter marks of 10 students okay so now uh, this is the code to accept marks from keyboard what we are doing we are just writing for loop and for that we are taking a variable i that's why we have declared it i we are starting it with zero why we are starting it with zero because the first element uh, is zero mark zero okay to access it to store the value at mark zero we are starting it with zero okay and what will be the last, last value so i already told you last value will be so you can note it down first value will be stored at will be at subscript zero that is marks 0 and last value will be stored uh, comment section you can write you need comments last value it will be stored at marks what marks 9 that is size minus that is size minus 1. And what is the size here? Size is 10. So 10 minus 1 that is 9. So you have to run the loop from 0 up to 10. So we have written the condition here. We are starting it from 0 and loop the test condition is i is less than 10. Why less than 10? So we have to go up to 9. Okay. What we are doing here? We are increasing the value of i because after 0 when you say you have taken input of 0 what you have to do you have to take input at marks 1 then marks 2 then marks 3 so you have to increase it one by one that's why we are using i plus plus here okay so just remove the comment section from this line and just placing it here okay now we are writing code to accept input from user. So we can use scanf function for accepting value of user you know, from user. This percentage D is used because it is an integer. And what you need to do, you are already aware of that. You can use ampersand in the scanf. You have to use because it's an address of operator. This will uh, 
store this value at particular address, the given address. The name of the variable is marks and you have to specify the subscript. So what subscript is? Subscript is 0, subscript is 1, 2, 3, 4. So in place of writing subscript, what you can do? You can write i because value of i will vary from 0, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay. That's why in place of writing any uh, subscript at least 0 or 1 or 2, you have to write i. i will automatically vary from 0 to 9. And that is the reason why we are using loop here. Okay. If you will write some value like 0, all the values will be stored at 0. That is, all last value will be stored only and remaining value will be lost. So it is technically incorrect if we are just writing zero. Okay, so you have to write one. So this will take input and, uh, and store it one by one. First, it will store the value at marks zero. Then it will store the value at marks one. Then marks two, and so on up to marks nine. Okay, so. Uh, this is how you can uh, take input of all the values and all the values will be stored in the array. Okay. Now it's time to see how you can display the values on the screen. So here you, you can see we are using similar loop for uh, display as well. Here we are using variable i and we are starting it from 0 and the last it is terminated when the value of i is 10. So it will run from 0 to 9 because you have to display all values from marks 0 to marks 9. Okay, we have already discussed y0 and y9 because first value is stored at 0 and last value is stored at 9. Okay, so what you need to do just you have to display the value. Here we have used printf and slash n is used to display all the values in different lines. Okay, you can use slash t if you want to display it at different uh, with uh, some space or simply you can use some space. Okay, here it will display marks i. i will be replaced with value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the main role of a for loop. Okay, so it will be replaced, i will be replaced with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. And then finally it will display all the value. And let's now compile the program and check the output. Okay. So here uh, it is asking you to enter 10 numbers. Let's enter 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and 19. We have entered 10 values and now see you are getting it 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 13, 16, 17, 18 and 19. This is how it's working. Just check it if I replace it with uh, say any place. If I replace it with 0, what will happen instead of i? It is not going to give you current result. Okay, what we are doing, we are just uh, at the time of input, we replace i with 0 or 1, anything. Okay, I am entering 10 values 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And now see, we are getting incorrect. Well, only last value is displayed properly, rest garbage value is displayed. Okay, so it is compulsory to use i as we have to store values in different uh, places of array right from zero to the last element that's all for now thank you